to play Austin City Limits is is a treat for me because Austin City Limits very much is like Alan Reynolds, the producer of all our stuff in the decade. He doesn't really care about money. It never influences him. The most important thing is music. That's why I love coming to play here. And, you know, uh, it's only as good as its people. So after you guys, after this wave moves on and if Austin City Limits still stands, we'll see what it does then. But for this whole decade for me, when people talk about Austin City Limits, first thing that pops in my mind is quality, great crowd, and a great place to go where the music is still where it should be up front. It's always been there like Gunsmoke was. It was always there like All in the Family was. And my dad had Austin City Limits on. And I got to see Amy Lou Harris for the first time there. And he just watched him. And, and it was amazing because at that time there wasn't videos going on. There wasn't anything else. That's just how it was. And the thing that I loved about him is we had a family, a musical family. Every Friday or Saturday night we'd get together and we'd all play. And the thing that I loved about Austin City Limits that hasn't changed is it's still like getting around in your family, in your living room, and playing music. And I think that's what I love most about it. If we're going to do one of our own specials, we're going to go back, we're going to overdub, we're going to fix, we're going to do all this stuff. What just happened and what happens every time you come to Austin City Limits is truly, I know it's overused, but it's magic. And you guys are smart enough to leave it alone. And I think it comes across the TV that way. In my world, real music and real TV is very fixed, <laughs> you know, very doctored and, uh, you know, hopefully cleaned up to represent your format and you the best that you can. But the great thing about Austin City Limits is even the mistakes, you hardly notice. If anything, it makes it more flavorful or makes it more real, which makes you love it more. If God is is very sweet to me, I'll still be the father of three children, and my dad will still be alive. Um, and that's all I know. As far as music, it'd be nice to still be making music, but if that interferes with me being a dad to kids 10 years from now, which will be 17, 15, and 13, then, you know, I've got to concentrate on that. And then while we're wishing, it'd be nice to sit down and turn on Austin City Limits, celebrating their 35 years you know? I was into uh, Fleetwood Mac, I was into uh, the Eagles, and uh, I was into, you know, the, the, what they called safe rock at the end of the 70s, which I didn't think was safe at all. It was uh, Queen, you know, Boston, Sticks, Kansas, Kiss. And, uh, yeah, some of those influences do come on Chris Gaines, but with a character that you're totally making up from scratch, you also have to make up what his influences are. And... Chris's influences are more like uh, the Eagles and Fleetwood Mac with a share, but his big influence is the Beatles. His big influence is Prince, Babyface, and uh, the all-time entertainer for him is probably the all-time entertainer for me, and that's Freddie Mercury. So uh, it was neat to get to dive into those kind of musics.